Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over the Prisma Lens. Yes, you read the title right. This weapon came out of nowhere, and it's currently being sold from Borrow as of the making of this video on May 19th. So if you're watching this and you haven't gotten on the game yet, go over to the Mercury Relay and go pick it up. So as far as the build, uh, this is what I have so far. Uh, today we're just going to be going over a non-Riven build. Uh, if you're w curious about what I run for the Riven build, it looks like this. It's it's just kind of lucky. It, I just got viral on it and some damage. It's nothing crazy. Um, unfortunately, though, the Riven doesn't really help the weapon as much as I'd like to. The weapon is better than the normal lens that's there's no doubt about it but unfortunately in my opinion the weapon is still aggressively average it is good if it was made like three years ago it'd be like wow this is awesome but considering what we have now with the incarnons um you really have to fire a lot of ammo to really get it going um, otherwise it just can't even kill these guys in non-steel path uh, very efficient efficiently I mean, look at that. I fired four shots and it didn't even kill them all. Yeah, they're not grouped up, but I'm not running prime fulminations. This is prime shred so that, you know, these shots can reach out to the other enemies and kill them. I mean, still didn't kill this guy. I'm aiming for the head mostly. So even if I group them up. See if I can get... Primary Merciless to kick in here. So I'm at time six now. Five. Just keep her going. I mean, you, you've got to run Hunter Munitions with this. Otherwise, it just won't kill anything. At all. Let's start with this side here. So you get some pretty decent hunting munition procs here. And yeah, it'll kill them once you get up to that point. But, I mean, we've got weapons that currently in the game now that just completely destroy these guys. And I, I do it now here. And see how long it takes them to die. Only 12k. Didn't even kill these guys. It... Again, it, it's better than the normal lens, but unfortunately, it is still lens. It's still average lens. I mean, at 12, here's we're at 10 now. It'll kill them. But, you know, we, we've got way better weapons than this currently in the game. So it, it's, it's a nice thing that DE did, you know. If you saw my Borrow video earlier today... Um, I was very, very excited to, to try this weapon, but unfortunately, it's still just kind of average. Um, you know, I, I don't have Prime Fulmination in. It actually hurts the weapon, in my opinion, if you don't run it with Prime Shred. Because, um, yeah, that, that AoE is bigger, but now, you, now you're not actually spreading those debuffs around as much. Got to get Primary Merciless to kick in again. Let's, uh, we'll respawn them. We'll start over. With Prime Fulmination, we're, we're at 10 right now. Should be good enough. So you got 35,000 slash ticks. But again, it just, even with this wider area, look how big this is. It still just can't really reach out and, and kill all these guys. I mean, there you go. Let's aim for the head. See how big that is? It's like a frost snow globe. But, again, the weapon has always suffered from just really poor status. And even with the status improvement, I think it went from 5 to 16 now. If we go to normal lens... And just compare the two. It's got a higher critical multiplier, 11 more status, 
uh, and a little bit more impact. But at the end of the day, it uh, and, and the charge rate is better, and it's got more ammo and everything. You know, they've they've touched the weapon in all the correct areas. However, it's just still not enough, in my opinion, to um, fix this weapon. But if you're a new player and don't have a really good AOE weapon, like you haven't done your liches at all, you're like under MR10, you know, you're new to the game, absolutely pick this up. It'll still take care of you. I mean, it is fun, don't get me wrong, but it... Uh, Ironically, I wouldn't run Prime Fulmination on here just because there's so many other mods you need that that little luxury of a bigger AoE isn't as good as taking advantage of the punch through and 110% fire rate because it's a bow, right? And you wouldn't run uh, Critical Delay because you don't want to reduce your charge rate. It, the weapon is already base 50%. Point, uh, crit chance, a running point strike is the obvious choice here. I mean, this is your pretty standard build. Uh, they're even selling primed cryo rounds right now. So, you know, um, picking up this weapon and this mod is just a no-brainer. And he's selling prime fulmination or prime firestorm. So, you know, I dumped five formas into this weapon and... I mean, here's one thing you could do. This is this is actually why I'm on Citrine, is you can actually fix the problem of the status with Citrine. So now you got Galvanized Shot in there, and you've got all these statuses. Well, guess what? Now you're going to wreck face because they've got a ton of status on them. Because it's a no-aim weapon, see how the beam is just reaching them anyway? Well, guess what? Now they're dead. Because you're you're increasing your damage by so much because of all the status. So it doesn't automatically target them unless they're very close. But if you start shooting them, the beam will immediately target the enemy you targeted. And now they've got like 10 status on them and they're just dying from the beam itself. You can uh, fire some follow-up shots from the lens in there and kill them. It's very nice. I mean, that's why I picked... Uh, Citrine for that, but the other thing you could do is run Eclipse. Before I end the video, I also wanted to add that I did try this with Primary Frostbite. I just forgot to record it. Um, it is kind of good um, because the lens actually does force proc cold on its initial hit. So in a group of enemies, you could build the 40 stacks in just two shots. It is quite nice, but if you don't have a Riven with extra damage on there and you're missing out on Primary Merciless, in my opinion, it actually hurts the weapon significantly. So I wouldn't run Primary Frostbite unless you have some means of getting extra damage, whether that's Heavy Caliber or Serration or Riven with some more damage on it, something along those lines, um, because that extra critical damage in multi-shot is nice, but I, I, I would still go with Primary Merciless over that anyway. That's going to bring us to the end of the video. Um, again, I was not expecting to make this today. Nobody saw this coming except for maybe Brozim, considering he just recently uploaded a lens video five days ago. But anyway, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Uh, I will be uploading some more Warframe content moving forward, especially this weekend with the new Incarnon Weapon weekly reset happening on Sunday afternoon, my time. But uh, if you're curious what I will be picking, I will be picking the Soma and the Burst On. So if you're interested in seeing those two weapons and a video guide about them, again, subscribe and I will see you there. Peace out.